Anyway, guys, I'm going to hand it over to T-Sun. Let's hear from the man himself. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jisoo. And we're going to be hearing from the solo MVP of SK Telecom, Han. A lot of fans are waiting to see the brand new SK team, Summer Split. So you guys did pick up a victory today, so how do you feel right now? Very recently, uh, during the preparation, maybe we were a little bit jet-lagged or something, so we were a little bit struggle scrolling during the practices, and it really showed on games. So I'm not feeling perfectly satisfied, but we have two. We only got two days to prepare for another match, so we have to just go back and prepare really hard and show the fans a better performance. Well, as you just said, well, game one was not really easy, and also game two, you guys did lose, but game three, I think it was the usual SK Telecom we used to see. So then, what kind of feedback went back and forth? Well, nothing really special. It was more about our performance, so we just wanted to stay focused. And Jinner, they evolved a lot, especially Malarang was performing great, and also Linderang showed great performance as well. So how was your game overall? Well, Jin Air, they did earn a lot of points in early games. So we expecting them to be flawless during the laning phase and making some of the mistakes in the macro phase, but they were really good during the laning phase. However, SK Telecom did turn the game around based on the performance in the late games and also team fights and macro. Especially, I want to ask you about the backdoor with the Rise Ult. So this is the highlight. The Jin Air tried the Elder Dragon. Uh, so the rest of the SKT players just racing to the Nexus. We knew that they were going to take some time to recall. So we just wanted to stop, their, stop them from picking the base. And we knew that we were able to break down the Nexus. So were you confident? Yes, we calculated it. However, as you said, Game 2 was really hard, but Game 3, it was close to the perfect SK Telecom. What was the biggest change? I don't know. But Marlon, his performance was really on point today. So Clid took Skarner away from him in Game 3. It seems to be the key champion of today. How is it playing with Garner and playing up against Garner? It's a champion that is really good at opening team fights or any fights. So it actually it actually depends on a lot of situations in game two. We didn't have any champion to get ulted by Garner, but game three we also see the best situation for Garner, so that's why we took Garner on our side. And Khan, I really want to ask you this. Well, Aatrox is not actually being banned out a lot and it has really low win rate. Why is that? There is a reason why Aatrox doesn't really have a good win rate because a lot of people actually think Aatrox is really good but there are a lot of options to kind of put against or counter Aatrox. So that's why it is actually struggling. What are the, some of the counter picks or counter strategies? Well, if you look at the pick and ban, well, we can kind of figure out what kind of champions to put up against um, Aatrox and what kind, of, what kind of champions to like ban out because it's, we can like reveal everything, but yeah, to, put it, to say it simple, that's how. <laughs> So, it is a good start for SK Telecom. And a lot of people were expecting SKT to be the biggest favorite, so any resolution in regards, uh, regarding the summer splits. But also, in the spring split, we weren't really performing well in the early time of the spl splits. But I think we are a slow starter. So, we just improve as time goes by. So we are working really hard for it. So I'll I wish all the fans to keep cheering and supporting us. Thank you. Once again, congratulations, Khan. Thank you very much for this interview.